Hello. Hello, Sixen. How are you all? Hope so, you are fine. So, today I am going to discuss about a particular poem that is Chicago by Kurt Sandberg. I am going to say about the theme and analyze it a little bit. So, what Chicago is all about? Now, we all know it's the name of the city in the United States of America. So, Carl Sandberg Chicago is a poem about the majesty of one of the United States first great cities. And if we analyze this particular poem, we see lots of things that is the merit as well as the lefty merit of this city. Now, in the poem Chicago, Carl Sandberg lists many of the qualities that Chicago has, both industrial and aesthetic, you can say. He notes some of the jobs that go on in Chicago and describes the city as stormy, husky and brawling. Or in other words, loud, you can say big, busy and full of action because at that, it was a time when the city was developing to its great height. Now after this, he addresses critics of the city by answering their concerns. He admits that Chicago has its issues. People call Chicago wicked cruel and brutal and he admits that in some ways it is. He acknowledges that the issues of prostitution, there are lots of issues like prostitution, murder, hunger and a legal system that does not always work the way it should exist in Chicago. However, Sandberg ends by countering the bad that Chicago must deal with by sharing the things that he finds great about Chicago. He says that he will sneer, that means he is going to criticize those people at anyone who sneers at his city because it is vibrant and alive, definitely. Though where you are born, if a person criticizes your birthplace, definitely you are going to get angry and criticize that person or give a counter to it. Same thing here, it happens. If somebody says something bad about Chicago, Carl Sandberg, he is going to give a counter of it. He loves the majesty of the building. A city that means there were big buildings out there and he liked the majesty of the big building like and he loves the work of the people who build the, the neighborhoods and, and the skyscrapers that means he's talking about the labor section who is helping to uh, build uh, Chicago a healthy city now characterize Chicago as a young and ignorant no doubt is young and ignorant because it is a rising city definitely it will be young and ignorant you know which means that even though it is flawed it it also is vibrant and growing into something healthy and mature. That means it will take time. That means it is going to take time to get the city into a healthy and a mature state, you know. Sandbach ends the poem by defining Chicago in two ways. That means he's defining in two ways. As a commercial power, that means that some of the people, they work from the from the lower section. You make your call the, the hog butcher, the tool maker, the stacker of wheat, player with railroads and freight handler to the nation and as a young and proud city but it is a young and proud city because it is developing if you talk about the main theme of it like when Sandberg wrote this poem about Chicago it was 1914 you saw what 1914 is famous for the first world war Chicago was established as a city in 1833 you remember it established as a city in 1833 so it was only about 70 years old only 70 years old this is quite young compared to many of the other great cities of the world such as you can say London, Paris, Tokyo. This is uh, this is way Sandberg describes Chicago as a young man. So describing Chicago as a young man, it has been around for quite a while. But compared to most cities, it is quite new. And if you compare with other cities, I said you are like London, Paris, and Tokyo. It's totally a new city. It is developing, you know. Like by using this metaphorical comparison of Chicago, using metaphorical comparison, Sandberg can show how Chicago holds many of the same qualities as an immature young man. Like it's immature young man. That means some of the good qualities the big cities are having. So they're also having, but it's totally immature. That means they're gaining. Both are vibrant and active, but both also have many flaws. So he's, uh, he's accepting that the city may have lots of flaws. That is the demand. However, Sandberg wants his reader to know that despite those flaws, that each and everything has got a flaw, despite his flaws, there is much to admire about how Chicago continues to grow. So you should admit that Chicago in a very first way, it is developing. Another thing that Sandberg focuses on is the theme of commerce, that means commerciality. 
the commerce. Chicago was a major city because it was the Midwest hub to the Western states. That means where from wherever the people come, they got to come here here in Chicago. Take an example if you talk about our particular state that is Guwahati. Now the whole lot is going to come to Guwahati. If they have any work, that means they got to go from Guwahati. That means the Guwahati is the main hub. So here the Chicago is also the main hub. So it is very much commercial, you know, like uh, Western states. In the in the time before year travel, Chicago farmers and merchants moved their products both to the west and to the east through the railroad. So before the flight, they passed there. That means import, import and export business was through road, was through railroad. And anyone getting from east to west, that means vice versa, you can say, almost surely would stop at Chicago along the way. That means they got to stop here because it is the main center, you know, the Chicago. And for that, the city is very much developing with the passing of time. Now Sandberg also celebrated the many types of workers that helped the city grow. That means he is appreciating some of the labor. Without the labor, a city cannot grow. So he is also appreciating these workers that help the city grow. For the like for the hog butchers, I've already said you that feed the populace to the people that build the city's skyscrapers and commercial buildings. That means they are making the built buildings, the workers. Sandberg wants the reader to realize how important that Chicago is as an example of a vibrant modern economy. So this particular city is very much important for vibrant modern economy. Now, in order to describe Chicago, you can see Sandberg release on the strategies of simile and metaphor. He has used lots of simile and metaphor. Now you all know what is the meaning of simile and metaphor. You know, so this was all about this particular poem that is Chicago. That means it's a developing city and if somebody criticizes this city, that means Carl Sandberg is definitely going to give a counter to it. Now it was and that this poem was established, uh, wrote this poem, he wrote this poem in 1914 and the city, uh, Chicago was established as a city in 1833. So it's a, as compared to the other cities, it's a very small city and it, uh, it's a very immature city as compared to the other cities. So this was all about this particular poem, Chicago. Hope so, you understood it. <laughs> stay fine, stay happy, stay at home. Thank you.